Welcome to Voices from the Bench, a dental laboratory podcast. Send us an email at info at voicesfromthebench.com or look for us on Facebook at Voices from the Bench. Greetings and welcome to July and episode number 66 of Voices from the Bench. My name is Elvis. Hey, I got to say this. So six has always been my lucky number my whole life in softball. Every time I have a really good race, um, there's a six in it. So this is a very special episode for me. So happy 66. It's Barbara. Welcome to Voices from the Bench. I am happy to finally be in July because that means in Indiana, (laughs) summer has hit a high and it's 90 degrees out. It's humid and it's kind of terrible. It's 95 here, and Elvis and I both ran today. He, he doubled my mileage. I went seven. He probably went 20. Uh, but it's definitely hot here in Florida. And, and 1030 is not a great time to go. So uh, I enjoyed myself. How about you? You know, it's a good thing we're running because in less than two months, we have the Race for the Future 6.0 at the end of August which is a great fundraiser for the Foundation of Dental Laboratory Technology. I know I'm signed up. Did you sign up? Yeah, I actually signed up and I've started swimming, running, and biking. So um, swimming's hardest for me, as I'm sure everybody knows that. So um, I've already swam about five times and I was pretty uh, good to go. So yes, I am signed up. I haven't started fundraising yet, but I'm planning to do that this next week after I get back from vacation because I'm actually going to the Florida Keys this week. Woo-hoo! Stepping away, getting a little balance, having a little sun and some fun, and I'm excited. I so. kind of hate you right now. So make <laughs> sure you head over to dentallabfoundation.org to sponsor for the Race for the Future. Now... You know, Barb and I, we are very into the triathlon and raising money for this event. Yes. We are on separate teams. So I think for the Mm -hmm. next two months, there'll be some friendly, competitive fundraising. Are you guys going to be called Voices from the Bench? We are team Voices from the Bench. So it's. Oh my God. Seriously. Stuart Steinbach will be swimming, Sean Nowak will be on the bike. And I'll be bringing up the run at the end. Just so y'all know, Barbara is doing everything on her own. Swimming, biking, and running, which I'm really not a great biker, but I really try. So should I be voices from the bench too? Because I know I'm not going to be one because you guys are uh, obviously already took the name. Keep the solo name. I'm let's, see who, let's see who I'm raises saying. the most. <laughs> No, I'm not, because Sean Nowak always beats me, so let's not see that. How about you guys go for individual donations and not corporate donations, and let's see who wins. There you go. How about that? So all the listeners, head over to dentallabfoundation.org, select the sponsor eraser, and make sure you type in Team Voices from the Bench and donate today. Really? (laughs) Or Barbara Wojan, W-O-J-D-A-N. There you have it. Okay, or you can select Barbara Wojan. Just remember, (laughs) it all goes to the same place, which is a great cause to raise money for education within our industry. Yeah. But make sure you put team voices from the bench. Okay. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. I got you. Done. Move on. All right. We start off this month of July with four interviews we got at the Florida Dental Laboratory Association meeting back in May. We start off with Chris Peterson from Peterson Dental Laboratory in Delray Beach, Florida. I really wish I worked in a lab that was on a beach. (laughs) Chris is the vice president of a lab that his uncle started, his dad took over, and now he and his sister run the day-to-day operations. He talks to us about that and also participating on the FDLA board. Go, Chris. Then we are joined by Gail Perricone from GPS Dental Lab in Orlando. Gail is a past president of the FDLA who just happens to be getting ready to start using those great carbon printers. Shout out to Gail. She's amazing too. She was pretty amazing. My girl. Up next, we have Dave Skolarski from Laboratory Distribution Network. Dave used to own Stern Gold, but now he has a really interesting idea of having labs be the technical backup for his line of products. I mean, let's be honest, we're already doing that for most products anyways. Yes. 
Dave is very interesting. I think you guys will find that most interesting. And then we move on to Bernadine Proctor from Colzar. At the time of the FDLA symposium, Bernadine was the newest employee of Colzer. She's there to talk about the printer, the Kara 4.0, and the new denture design software. I'll let you know that since the FDLA, we actually purchased the Kara 4.0 as our printer. Good for you, dude. I like it. Thank you for supporting those that support us. Yeah, That's awesome. I like it. You know, it's not the carbon. I think it's a great printer for what we're trying to get into. So I highly recommend people checking it out. All right. Join us from my Sunshine State with Chris, Gail, David, and Bernadine. Voices from the Bench. The Interview. How do you want, are we at the FDLA or do you want to call it the Southern State Symposium? So here we are again. At the FDLA Southern State Symposium and Expo. So he just totally blew me ever. away. You see, I was <laughs> going to say that with Chris Peterson, who I've known for many, many, many years. Chris Peterson is from Peterson Dental Lab. Didn't you start Peterson Dental Lab? I or did your father not. did? Actually, that's a misconception for uh, most people that have asked me that. So my uncle actually started in 1975. Okay. Wow. Dad joined the team in 1978, and they worked together for about 10 years. Okay. And right after the 10-year mark, Uncle passed away, actually. Mm. So my dad had to really yeah. learn how to run a laboratory. which Blood, was, sweat, uh, and tears. Oh, yeah. So uh, the challenging part for that was for 20 years, his heart wasn't in it. Mm-hmm. It was a real challenge. It was just a means of uh, a means it of a revenue. Job. It was a job. Until you got job. in it? Wow. And then so 10 years, tell me? the 30-year <sighs> mark, son came in, and he had a reason for running the lab. I love that. Yeah. So That's it was, so cool. So how old were you when you started? So after 10. Th- Oh, gosh. I remember casting, uh, you know, ants or crickets in the casting department. Oh, yeah, when you were young? Oh, yeah. We had oh, yeah. spiders. That's a thing? I Hell, cast yeah. Gold- casting I cast bugs? A, I cast a goldfish one time. When you're a kid? Yeah. When you're a kid and your dad runs a lab, you're casting anything you can get a hold of. That's cool. I had cool. no idea that was a thing. <laughs> facing government currency and melting <laughs> pennies down. Yeah. Me, too. Cutting down coins, shining them up. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's great. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I you mean, joined the lab when? Well, after college and about, I think, 2007, Dad said, hey, okay. you want to come into business? Uh, I guess the pro baseball route after college wasn't going to work out. Did that, went to tech school down at McFadder. And, yeah. and, uh, I and saw Broward. McFadder here. That is must that, be a is pretty it still big... open? Are yeah. they still open? Yeah. Good. Thank God. It's open and going strong. They're actually, I was really impressed when I was learning about the school. The curriculum's changed a little bit. Mm-hmm. So I think it's really cool is they're starting to actually teach them kind of a little bit more about the business side. There's prescriptions that have to get made. You have to process. There's data entry. There's invoicing. So oh, I really yeah. thought that was a neat that is part of their curriculum. Uh, are they curriculum. accredited, do you know? Did you they are. Out? They are. Good. Yeah. There is a... Um, yeah, I think they're the only accredited one in the state. I know yeah. there's multiple There was Indian River. I actually passed there yesterday, and I thought, what a shame, when Indian River yeah. College. I, I don't know if they were accredited or not, yeah. but they closed mm-hmm. uh, several years ago. So, yeah. wow, that's awesome. But, uh, yeah, so, so I know yeah. that you've totally, like, brought it into, like, this century, and you're, like, totally into all the new things, and you're helping build it, and you've been very successful. What is the favorite thing that you like to do? Is it implants, or is it technology? Or Golly. Uh, if you had to pick one. What do you like to do most? On the best? technical side, I would definitely say uh, the implant side of things. Yeah, that's uh, what I thought. It's a structural. Uh, yeah. You know, my dad asked me the question when I first came into the industry, do you want to be, uh, you know, some incredible, crazy ceramist? Do you want to run a business? Uh, you know, what do you want to do? And uh, I said, I want to be all. <laughs> I want to be all of that. <laughs> yeah, of and, course. Uh, so I gravitated naturally to implants and, and, and that side of things. And that implants was always fun. Implants tough. But yeah, you got higher margins, and you know that's really where it's at right now. I would agree. Yeah, so, so. it's been a it's been a wild ride, and and now you know my dad's been really creative. He's got a couple different patents, and that's kind of something that's been he's really proud of, and it's really helped us with the the implant uh-huh. side of things. Is so your dad still in on the bench? He is mostly clinical, so okay. he runs oh. uh, the clinical side of the company. Uh, you know, with the chair side services and, and like all on four conversions and stuff. Yes. Or? So it's it's been yes. it's been a wild ride. So his first yeah. his first conversion I think was in 1999. What? Wow. Ten implants on the upper, ten on the lower. Minis? <laughs> nope. They're way ahead of the curve. Ten? Seriously, his and laboratory he, is amazing. He made Some a oral surgeon made bank that day. <laughs> he made a micro uh, soldered framework, upper and lower, set it up, processed and finished it, chair side, 1999. 
Wow. Ten in, or, uh, ten Tell in me the upper, it's still in the, the mouth lower. working. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're not sure. We're not sure, but it was all gold. And, oh, oh sure. my God. Yeah, Can you so imagine how much that's worth nowadays? I holy can't imagine. Holy. So it's been a fun ride. Wow. And now, you know, my sister even came on recently, yeah. which has been exciting for me. Now yeah. I have another partner in crime. And, mm-hmm. and then you think the same way or you think a little differently, and then it just meshes. I know. I love it. My son oh. came to work for me, and we, he thinks totally differently than I do. So I get it. <laughs> it's an interesting dynamic. I've been uh-huh. excited to hear. Like, the more and more I get off the bench and I meet people, how many family-run companies there are still? A lot. I have been amazed. In our Everybody. industry, yeah. Everybody is a, has a d- brother yep. or a daughter. I recently heard of a guy who has like f- three or four daughters in his own lab. Yep. And I'm like, I can't imagine having my – I have three daughters. <laughs> oh, shout out to my wife. She had a baby 10 days ago, and Aww. she let Whoa. me come. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So Thank that's you. three? Good for you. So you have yeah. three? Good for you. Yeah, three. Congratulations. Five-year-old, a one-and-a-half, and a – uh, ten day old. Awesome. Are they all going to be future dental technicians? Probably. Mm. Throw all three of them in there. You could build your own laboratory. We'll, we'll he see. He doesn't need to. He already has one. He's got fifteen, <laughs> twenty. He's got twenty years to deal with that. So oh, who man. knows it's, what's going to happen in twenty years? Yeah, who, so. kn- who knows? It's 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 changing so rapidly. So. So tell us about a board membership. I mean, how do you like being a board member? And FDLA is probably one of the largest in the country. It is still going strong. It this is. meeting's amazing. I, yeah. I know there's like ton of people coming tomorrow, like triple normal. So that's great. It was awesome. You know, I I was hesitant to initially come on the board. I wasn't sure what the value I would add to it, and I think that's a lot of people's hesitation to getting involved in in, yep. uh, in different things like that. And I have learned so much in the last couple of years and expanded my knowledge and more than what I could learn in my my bench at the lab or yeah. in my own laboratory. There's other labs and they do things differently and they all think outside the box. And I think creatively in order to uh, to stay in this and stay relevant in our oh, market, yeah. you have to be exposed to uh, this. This, yes. Yep. What we see and here. All these different minds and the way they think and how they run their laboratories and the different things that they're into, like what I'm into, you're not into. And I remember you told me, I really want to give back. I want to get involved. I remember, remember yeah. we talked about that, and now you are. So good for it's you. It's exciting. Yeah. And the more it keeps the, it fresh. And I think this is, this is my third year on it, and mm-hmm. it's now I feel comfortable. I feel like I can contribute more. And it's yeah. always the scary thing when you jump onto a board oh, with absolutely. all these people who have been doing it for years, and they might have big labs or oh, custom. Yeah smaller labs and it's just it's it's unique and we need a blend of that to stay relevant i'm on my second year of the national board Mm -hmm. and i that first year i first year he did nothing but get in trouble oh i was scared out of my mind i was so and there's all these people up there (laughs) that had public speaking experience (laughs) and they ran ginormous labs and i was like what am i doing here but as much as i wanted to give back i've learned more yeah oh and a lot of people don't get that hand over Mm -hmm. fist yeah You got to be willing to let go some of your knowledge, and and you'll obviously I to mean, give. You'll get so much more in return. When I've after learned you give. so much just from being on the board. Mm-hmm. I might not be giving a lot yet, mm-hmm. but it will come. I'm sure. Oh, it comes. Yeah. So what are you guys doing after this? So you're actually going to walk around and you do best of show? I do, so yeah. So what? Is so it how you have it decorated or what? Because I know we're not going to win, but <laughs> you could give us maybe a cocktail. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this big banner has had to come all the way from Indiana. So is it the way That's they're decorated or what? Tell I, me. It's a combination. It's, de- uh, it's being decorative. Personality? Personality, yes, for sure. Creativity. <laughs> yeah, creativity is what we're looking cool. for. Cool. Nice. It. So I want to know who wins. So that's fun. So we'll that's follow a little through. part of it. Seems like the show's huge. Tomorrow's going to be huge. The um, lineup's great. So you all just get mm-hmm. together and you create these meetings and uh, just keep kicking ass. So yeah. I just like to thank you. And we know you used to be meeting. on. You were on the FDLA for a long time. My I was sister, who's actually here, Kristen Brown, um, was president of FDLA. Yeah. So she's past president. You never and, were pre- you never um, had president. No, I've been on the foundation and the yep. uh, NADL and Cal Lab and FACD, but I have not. Wow. been. This will probably be. Barbara, Barbara, you're intimidating. Yeah. You've been th- done so much. Aww, I was nice. always intimidated she by you, Barbara. She scares me, too. I'm so nice. <laughs> Especially when you give me a shot of Fireball. Oh. Really nice. <laughs> no, then I just get mouthy. Do you know <laughs> they make Fireball in these hanging square boxes with, like, IV drips now? No. Oh, you can go up and just put it over your head and I haven't had any shot. Fireball lately, so. <laughs> I've, I've put the Fireball down. Changing my reputation. Oh boy! I don't know if anybody's now. I like got to now. I got to send back all those shirts <laughs> I made. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for visiting. Yeah, with us. Have you. a great nice meeting. You. Thank you for everything you do for awesome. the industry. 
Uh, like I said, I remember you from way back when, and I'm proud of you. I know your, you. your, your laboratory has I just been it. growing, and I it's awesome. It. So. I have a great team at yeah. the lab. It always it's comes all down about to the that, team. doesn't it? It's all it's about enough. the people. It helps. You yeah. know, you can think about your processes or yeah. your materials or your vendors you work with, and at the end of the day, it comes down to selecting the right team. Yeah, agree. I love that. All about, all the about the team. You have that secret. Employee <laughs> and team mem- not even you can't say employees and te- team members are your most valuable asset. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll yep. Guess we'll end I on totally that one. Agree. All awesome. right. Appreciate there it. You have it. All Thank right. You. Good Thank to see you. All. We are here FDLA Day Two, 2019, and joining us is Gail Paracone. Hey, I said it right. Yes, you did. You're amazing. And you are with GPS Dental Lab in Orlando, Florida. So Gail is a laboratory owner, correct? Yes. And your lab is full service? Yes, full service. How long have you been open? Uh, Probably over 20 years. Really? This lab, yes. So you founded it? I did. I'm the sole owner. Wow, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. I love that female power. How are you guys? So, So what is your favorite product? If you look at all the new technology and all the things that are going out, I don't know. I, I don't know like a lot about your lab. I know you're amazing, and your lab's doing extremely well. So congratulations! Thank but you. Thank you. You guys specialize in implants, ulceram. Um, a little bit of everything. Um, the denture department has removable has grown tremendously in the last probably year year and a half. Are you struggling so. finding technicians where uh, you're at in Orlando? Not so bad because really? I think people are attracted to the Orlando area. And so we seem to get few people walking in, and people send me resumes. So it works out all right. I tell you what, we can't find te- we can't. This find must be removables. a good state to yeah, be a removable see. technician. Yeah. I We're mean. struggling yeah. um, in the Tampa area. I, I know several labs that can't find any removable technicians. Yeah. So good for you. I worry that it's like the dying. You know, it's it's just. It is. It I is. say that um, not disrespectfully, but you know, and there's there's not a lot of younger removable folks coming in. So good for you. Mm-hmm. So the removable is doing well. Yeah. Zirconia, I'm sure, is taken off, correct? Yeah, yeah, we do a lot of zirconia. Uh, a lot of full contour zirconias is really hot right now. Yeah. Um, so it's, Are yeah. you using like a multi-layer or do you layer or do you both? Uh, we do both. Yeah. We do both. So do yeah. we. Yeah. So do we. Yeah. So you get a higher fee for the, for yeah. the layer yeah. and the regular fee. Yeah, this layering the facial makes a big difference. Yeah. 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 That's what I was uh, taught my son to do that. So it takes so much less time. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. love it. Yeah. And uh, the new stains, like the Jensen... Um, Mio. Mio, we mm-hmm. use that. I'm loving that. That's like I've heard a lot of that? good things about that. Yeah. We have not oh, done it's, it. It's the best. You know, I what? am a ceramist at heart, so, so I. I I don't sit there at the bench all day long. I just troubleshoot stuff and QC some stuff, but that really looks nice. What makes yeah. that stuff so different than yeah, everything else? Yeah, talk about else? it a little bit, would you? I, um, I have the kit, but I haven't completely adapted uh, myself. And I have to, to say, it. I haven't either. I I use uh, well, I'll use other stains in that too, but this does set. What you put on there, you fire it, and that's what you get. It doesn't roll, doesn't puddle. Um, mm. I, I really like it. Interesting. Yeah. And the shades are really accurate, I yes, hear, and it has that, that color, that, that translucency that mm-hmm. makes it more yes. opalescent yeah, you and can, translucent. Mm-hmm. And we need cool. to get them on sometime. Mm-hmm. The podcast. See, Elvis is thinking outside <laughs> the box. We're, we should get them on sometime. I think they were talking about it this weekend. Everybody's really been buzzing about it. Yeah, so yeah. yeah that would be a great idea. Yeah, the booths, in fact, right over there, they had some hands-on yesterday. I was watching a little bit, too. And I think I attended one of the lectures, and they did do a demonstration of it, too. The cool. keynote speaker. Okay. So it was good. Are you a past, are you, uh, past, past president? president. Yes. So she's a FDLA past president. When yeah. were you president? Uh, three years ago. Three years ago? So, yeah. yeah. Time goes quickly. Yes, <laughs> it does. So, yeah. Well, yeah, congratulations on that as well. Mm-hmm. So is there any equipment or anything you're looking for this weekend? Are you sort of kind of just buzzing uh, through the show? Kind of, yeah, just kind of looking around. Nothing I really think. We ordered a couple carbon printers. They'll be here oh, another week. Oh, good for so, you. Yeah. First We're going ones? carbon. Yes. Wow. Yes. I love them. Yeah. I've wow. got a couple, and I yeah. just love them. Yeah. They're so really, 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 really great. So we'll have those by the end of the month, I think. So Good for you. Nothing else I can afford right now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Not after that. <laughs> How long does it take to get one once you order it? Uh, it's been a couple weeks, I think. Yeah. Is that it? it takes okay. A, it, three takes, weeks. Yeah, it takes a while before yeah. they get it in, and then you have to make sure your laboratory is set up and the lighting's correct, and you've got all of the infrastructure and the IT ready to go yeah. before they'll wow. even ship it to you. You yeah, have to take we've been pictures. Doing that. That you're ready, and so they've got a pretty well thought out business yeah. plan, so yeah. that you know that yeah. we're prepared for it. And they they really do a lot of um, 
making sure you're okay and checking your numbers out and any any time mm -hmm. it's gone down they've been right in to fix it so not that it has yeah but once or twice but yeah so good for you you having good success with yours yeah okay yeah no. we just got our third one in uh last week they actually came in and set it up so we're printing a lot of our um, night guard models you know, we're printing a lot of our um, modelist cases, even though they're modelists. We're printing a small model and sure. a die, mm -hmm. so we're, we're due a fair amount, probably a hundred a day. So, okay, wow. Hmm. Material cost is high, mm -hmm. but um, we like it. The accuracy faster. is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. The dependability is what I hear. Yeah. Are you doing like surgical guides with it? No. Okay. Mm -mm. We Are may you? one day. We may do dentures. You know, there's all this yeah, stuff that yeah. you could you do, do with it. it. Yeah. yeah. So I think now that we have a third one, we can look at that for other things. Sure. Except for Not just tied printing. up. Yeah. Exactly. Well, why? Why did you get one, Gail? Why? Why are you? Ordering? Uh, well, what are you looking to do? Well, we're printing more and more models. We've yeah. tried a couple printers that were cheap but not good, and we've yeah. learned. And yeah. yeah. So um, we're kind of moving our way up of different printers, and we're like, you know what? Let's just pull the trigger and get the big ones. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. That's awesome. awesome. Well, I hope right. you enjoy the meeting. Please yes. grab some of these and share them with your, um, with your techs. Okay. And, um, I will. Tell them to check us out. We talk, like I said, about the industry and mm -hmm. people in it and why you got in it and what you do. And it's basically dedicated to our industry. So okay. please check All us right. out. Appreciate well, thank it. You. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for stopping by. Nice thank to meet you. you. Asking me. to see you. Nice to meet you. Me too. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. All right. So we're at the FDLA again live with. Mr. David Sklarski, mm -hmm. and you're going to tell us a little bit about yourself, please? Sure. What you do, who you are, it sounds to me like you're a bigwig. Well, I don't know if I'm a bigwig, but uh, yeah, no, I, I own Sterngold. Um, Sterngold. From, the Sterngold. Well, Sterngold used to be owned by a very large holding company. Mm -hmm. that it used I to be called for. Sterngold AM or something. APM. Like APM. APM, yeah, APM yeah. Sterngold, which was American Precision materials or something like that. We have that. a lot of old packages at our <laughs> lab. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, oh, you know what? Yeah, you get the he old stuff. He's the smart one. <laughs> yeah. Saying. No, but um, so I worked for the company that owned them, and then they, they asked me to go over there in 1995, and then I bought it in 2001, and then I div divested it uh, about five and a half years ago. But I started a, a distribution company called Laboratory Distribution Network, which, because what I always found was the success that we always had at Sterngold was mainly through the technicians, mm -hmm. the technical, yep. uh, whether it was the labs or... Say no more, mister. Yeah. That is my f***ing... Uh, and they sorry. all... And no? you're, I didn't mean and to say people, that. <laughs> you're going to edit that out. The people from your booth just noticed that you're sitting down, so yes. here comes the picture. Oh, here Lisa is coming. All right. Here we go. So smile. <laughs> so why did you purchase Sterngold? I mean... Uh, what, did you see the importance of it, the growth it could possibly have? or? Yeah, well, w the real reason why I bought it was we, we, we started an implant division, and we got into mini implants, yep. and yep. we sold part of that to Zimmer a long time oh, ago. Really? Okay. So there was, it kind of evolved, but <clears throat> the one thing that, well, I wanted to really get more involved in the digital end of things. Mm -hmm. So whatever, didn't work out at Sterngold, so I started uh, Laboratory Distribution Network, and uh, we distribute technical products through the labs because when i looked at our success okay, at sterngold it. and i again i wasn't from the dental industry i didn't know anything about it everybody tells tells me i still don't really know that much about it but. Uh, you look like my dad actually oh so geez well that's i don't know if that's a, a compliment you're or not. you're good looking gray hair blue eyes yeah <laughs> It's always nice when a lady says it. You, yeah. like <laughs> well, you can also I tell when she's lying. <laughs> no, I don't mean that either like my dad. I just mean like that in a very positive well, way. Well, I don't know if I should take that as a compliment or you not. You definitely do. All right, that. okay. If anybody knows my father, they're, they're like, yeah, he's adorable. <laughs> All right, that's good. <laughs> yeah, so we started this company, and uh, we, we distribute mainly for a couple of European companies that no one really knows about, mm -hmm. but they wanted to get into the U.S. market. And uh, so, like, what kind of products? Uh, technical products. We have uh, we have some lab products that we all we do sell to the labs, but clinical products like temporary crown bridge material, mm -hmm. attachment pickup material. You mentioned the ERA. Sure. You know, we have an attachment pickup material to pick up locators, ERAs, yeah. haters. You know, whatever. And um, we also offer implants. So it's products that it's not a typical distribution product, but it requires technical support, which is where the labs come into play. I yeah. see. Yeah. So we have a series of labs that are part of our network that we distribute products through. We provide the technical education. We provide all the marketing support. And um, the laboratory gets to participate in that distribution stream. So 
the labs are selling to the doctors, but using you guys. They don't sell. No. Okay. Well, one thing, what I, what I noticed with talking to technicians, they don't want to sell anything. No, most of them don't have that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so that's our job. We sell, but I need them for support. Like, for example, our pickup material, that's something that the doctors can do chair side. Sure. But they're not that familiar with it. It's not really that complicated, but, you know, you need a little bit of training and so forth, and that's Absolutely. where the labs come into play. Interesting. Oh. So you and they do, that every, they do that, and I'm sorry not to interrupt, but no, they kind of do that every day anyway. I mean, they're t- oh. if a doctor has a question, who do they call? They call their laboratory technician. I love it when doctors call me about impression material, and in my mind I'm thinking to myself, you know how many impressions I've taken? <laughs> Zero. Right. <laughs> but you've here, been asked about But here <laughs> I am giving you advice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's, and that's really, you know, when I first went into the Sterngold and I said we had six technicians on staff, I met with all the laboratory, everything was lab, lab, technician, 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 yep. it was a repetitive thing with me, and uh, so I just, again, I, and I think me coming in from the outside without having any pre-biases or whatever, pre-judgment of people or job functions, I was like, the technician is where our bread and butter is. Mm-hmm. So that's what we're here is to capitalize on that, because no one that I can see as a a distribution model incorporates the lab into that structure, at least not in a formal way. No, no, I don't think I can think of any. Right. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Excellent. So how long has it been around? I mean, We've been around for two years. Yep. Like I said, I left Sterngold about five years ago, and I was talking to a number. I was looking at maybe working with some other companies, but I really, this is something I've always wanted to do. Always wanted to do it. Yeah, and, you know, I talked to some people here today, some people that were, appointments that they and some of them know me personally so that kind of helps with my background a little bit i think yeah. well i hope so totally and uh you know so uh, they're like yeah and, and i said well why wouldn't you do it and they kind of look well yeah why w-? i say you do it now every day yeah you know so, so it's so it's not selling sure sure you know? what's the website uh, it's uh, www.laboratorydistributionnetwork.com. Just what it is. That's yes. what it is. That's I awesome. I love it. I yeah. love it. I love That's it. Great. Thank you. And I'm real anxious. This sounds really, really cool. I mean, we're looking for stuff like this, you know, so yeah. this is great. Yeah, it's Elvis's absolutely. Elvis' brainchild. We've been around now for almost a year. Over or a year. actually a year. A well, year last April. Yeah, and we keep going to these shows. And we're yeah, the is it mainly the shows that you're doing? No, we do live. We, we, are, we Not live. Well, we do live here, but we edit it, of course. But we do every Friday. We have interviews. But Elvis has so many interviews at this point that... Yeah, we have a lot. Yeah, so... But we, um, we roll out every Monday morning. So check us out. Yeah. Voices from the Bench. Where can you find us? Tell Voices us Voices from the Bench dot com is our yeah. website. That's the easiest way to find us. Yeah. But... I mean, we're on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, oh, I Google. I mean, all the big yeah. podcast listening. I always places. say start at episode uh, 10 or 12. Because <laughs> 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 we, 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 we earned our stripes. This yeah. was his g- genius, and uh, we've gotten better at it, and we've we gotten no more idea comfortable, what and we doing. love it. <laughs> uh, we've loved every one of our interviewees. It's been an amazing journey, so uh, we're happy to interview you. So thank you for coming on. Well, this is yeah. great. Appreciate it. Have it a makes great meeting. It makes you to partic- participate. It'll be thank fun. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, have a great meeting. Thank Thank you. Meeting you. Thanks. Thank nice you. to meet you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Absolutely. Take care. Take care. We are at FDLA. Again. 2019. Come on, buddy. <laughs> it's Nelson Rigo, gentlemen and ladies, so sorry. That's all right. All right, let's go. We are here with Burdine Proctor from Colzar. Please yeah. tell me you said that correctly. He did. He's not too good at that. He I am done say- for the day now. <laughs> right, you said it right. You got it. <laughs> that was the one name he got correctly, so kudos to both of you. So, so Tony Cercelli just said that you're the new one. I am. I am the Florida Georgia Lab Rep. Hello. So how long have you been All with right. Colzar? Six months. Wow. Yep, Where did you come it. from? I actually came from physical therapy. Physical therapy. Uh-huh. Were you love a physical it. therapist? Yeah, I'm a licensed physical therapist. I have this back issue. I need you to talk He's about going. Oh, Barb can help you with that. <laughs> <laughs> You're a natural. She's like, really? She said you could run with her. Any day. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. Thanks. And thank you for talking to us. Of so course. tell us about your yeah, role. So why did you come How'd over you to a dental? I, my brother-in-law has been in a dental lab for about 20 years. So as a therapist, I worked across from him. I used to go over to his lab because he would never take a lunch, sit with of him. Course. What is this? What are you doing? How does this work? Um, then when I switched into sales, I went and did a dental symposium, mm-hmm. and you met everyone from dental. Yep. And I just of course. fell in love with it. I really Aww. liked it. And so I got to know a bunch of lab owners, and then I would be talking to them. They were friends. And then this opportunity opened, and it just fit. Yep. Um, 
you know, I think if you like the products and then you love the products and they excite you, it just makes a difference. Yeah, totally. Um, I, I love our friend. I hooked up on Facebook mm -hmm. and I've been watching you and you've been in the golf tournament and I do. I saw you go to the national, I think, sales meeting. Yes. So you guys just did Which that was in Indianapolis. It was. Which is yes. where I'm from. Yes. It's Indy. Yeah, you guys were all in where my town. Where are you from? In Illinois? you so much <laughs> no indiana yeah okay Indy. sorry gentlemen ladies i'm a dumb ass. i did i Just brought saying. my dentures that i made on our 3d printer and everyone loved oh them oh my god that's so cool nice yeah. what is the new exciting product colzer has i'm gonna say that because you've got your uh got tony tony yes, always wants us to tony, mention scrap. I love tony tony's amazing scrap scrap scrap, scrap hey scrap, it's scrap, important yeah. you get money back why wouldn't yes, you do scrap so tell us all about it so my favorite i love our printer i absolutely love it uh, we have it on display today. We I actually printed. I, it blows my mind. You can make dentures oh, on it. That. They look amazing. So I know cool. you guys have carbon. Yeah. What um, is the name of this printer? The Colder Cara 4.0. 4.0. Nice. Was there a 3.0? No. You just got to go right to 4. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where he pulled that from. You got to go okay. 4.0. Yeah. I mean, you don't want a 3.0 GPO. No. Just right, yeah. right to just the 4. Just go right to the 4. You need the 4. Yeah. yeah. I have a 4 BMW, so I'm all for 4. There you go. So now we're in. Yes. <laughs> um, we are so in. I definitely love that. I think it's amazing how it works, how it prints. It's my favorite thing to use. So, so are you guys, do you have it here at the show? I do. I have it. I actually printed a night oh, guard. Sweet. Um, so I can nothing, come check it what out. What makes it so great? It's accuracy, it's speed, it's ease of use. I think the biggest thing is, like I said, I've been here six months. Mm -hmm. I've never worked in dental. I've never made dentures. I've never done dentures. I never sat with CDTs and learned yep. it. Mm -hmm. I got our printer. I came out of training. I said, well, I want to see how this works. I set it up in my kitchen. My poor husband oh my was God, like, that's really? Awesome. I'm like, you cannot come <laughs> use the kitchen. Nothing. This is this, Get the hell this out is of here. This is in here. Set it up. I nested my own file. I printed it. I looted the teeth together. Sweet. I made my denture. And it was oh, one of those man. moments where you go, I hear so many people say, I have this printer, and it's, I, I don't know how to do it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know how to use it. And that's a big thing. We do your support. So knowing that when you do a printer, I'm coming in, I'm training you, I'm working with you, and you know I know how to use it. Yeah. So when you call me and you say, oh, Bertine, I'm doing this, and it's doing this, I can say, okay, let's troubleshoot it. We'll figure it out. And it, I think that ease of use, besides how accurate it is, mm -hmm. just makes it amazing to add. It, it's that accessory to add that's going to create streamlining in your workflow. Okay. Yep. Um, I get a lot of people with the build table. Oh, your build table is too small. It prints so quickly. I've set it up next to others and it's done printing. I've cleaned my printer up and I'm done with my demo and leaving and oh that one's still God. going. And the fact that you just sat down and started using it, you could totally like just train yourself and you were able to do it. Ease of use. Hello. Ease yeah. of use is big to me Sweet. because you know, when you're, when you're talking about showing it to someone, even though you're a CDT, you do this, this is new, mm -hmm. so it's change. You're going 100 miles an hour. I'm going to come in, and I'm going to say, okay, here we're going to go 40. Yeah. And you need to know that you're going to make 60 miles back up to go back 100. Yep. So that's totally where agree. I think that's where I love it is that you can do it. You can use it. Now, did I hear they just came out with a new design software? Yes, Pala Digital Dentures. Oh, I oh actually, tell us about that. I actually designed my denture last week at the national sales meeting. Uh, I, I really thought I wouldn't do as well as I did, and I did. It was very easy. It was very smooth to use, and that that was fascinating because I've tried to do design on other software, and I go, what button, which button, how wow. do you do this? And it's great because even if you're clicking on it and you forget, there's a button. Take the tutorial. It'll tell you what to do, tell you how to fix it. Oh, I messed this up. Go back. It was easy. So um, does it hook up with a scanner? How does this work? Yes. So, so we actually do have a scanner you also. Have a, you have your we own do. scanner. I didn't get to bring it here today, but I did get us using it last okay. week. It was easy. But you can use any scanner. Our printer accepts any open SDL. So with the Pala, you can design it, and then you can scan so in from any so scanner. So if a lab already has a three-shape scanner. They would use that. You could hook it up with the new Pala digital Correct. denture software. Oh, Correct. Wow. Now, the nice thing is you don't need a dongle. So, you know, you're used to having, like, if you're designing, you have to wait because you have this dongle. Yeah. You can have multiple people on it because you're not going to pay for it until you're done. Once you want to hit print or mill, that's when you're going to do the payment part. So it's a pay per print. Correct. I love so it. So you, you, you could have five people in your lab doing it, and you're not paying until you and print. you guys know where we're located, right? So yes. you must come by. I, I, I've been the by. The one thing I know, well, you, I don't think you and I have connected. I don't think so. I don't think you've been in there when I oh, came well, by. That's probably because I'm out doing my podcast <laughs> with Elvis. Or running. Uh, yeah, so please come by. Yeah. I mean, uh, what I like about this podcast is as I 
as we meet people and we learn about new technology, I've had like four or five people come in, so please come yeah. in. Yeah, we'll have a webinar for the Palo Digital Dentures on the 22nd, Okay. where people can get on there. It's free webinar, get a CE credit, and kind of it's that digital dentures for beginners. Love it. I love think it, that's definitely it. something where I, I see labs wanting more. Everyone wants to go to it. Yeah. Everyone wants to say it's not there yet. And they're struggling a little bit. But I so think it's yeah. more just, you're always going to have analog. Mm -hmm. You are. You're, mm -hmm. You know, if the dentures I print still need hands-on. Yeah, you still need something. You need a technician. You need the analog side. But the digital is just going to fit that push of the right now. Oh, please I need come it now. and show yeah. us how to do it. I'm totally, you know, like we've been wanting to get into digital for a while, but I haven't found the right system. Yeah, so I actually just by. sat in a lab the other day just so that we could uh, do their uh, nesting of a custom Showing impression tray. Because they've good. done night guards. They were doing good. They said, I just don't know how to do this. So I just went by. We spent 30 minutes together, made sure I showed them how to position it, and Sweet. off they'll go. So it's something awesome. where I think that's the difference is when you get stuck and you go, oh, well, I, I'm doing night guards, but now I want to do this. Yeah. I'll come by. We'll help you teach you how to do it. And Interesting. Awesome. Go over it. So cool. That is so awesome. Thank you. I hope you have a great meeting. Well, thank you. I hope you, you do guys too. just launch all of this and you're so successful. And, and I um, will definitely stop by and yeah. see you. Yeah. I, I, won't, awesome. I was in, in Indy once, but. Yeah. Well, you'll come back. Eventually. <laughs> it was kind of cold. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> oh, what, Illinois? Yeah. Sorry. It was a little cold. Me. It's chilly there. <laughs> and me. rainy. And rainy. Yeah. It was rainy. We, like get, we get all four weather. seasons every day. Yeah, no, it no, was no, definitely sure. that. <laughs> well, good to meet you. Very nice yeah, to meet you, too. Absolutely. Have a great Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you so much. It. All right, so a big thanks to Chris Peterson, Gail Paracone, David Sklarski, and Bernadine Proctor. You guys were amazing to interview. We really, really enjoyed our conversation. To follow up with Chris's conversation, we did not win the Best of Show Award for our booth at the FDLA Symposium. We should have, Elvis. <laughs> we need to get a little bit of color in our black and our orange, but um, you know what? It was fun. It was actually Vita North America, so they won. You and I have to step up our game next year because I really, really don't like coming in second or anything other than first, so... I'm sure we didn't even come in second. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's black and it's orange, but it's Barbara and it's Elvis, so let's do this thing. Be sure to check out this episode's show notes for some links to some things mentioned during the interviews, like the webinar Colzer that Bernadine mentioned. So here we are again talking about race of the future. We're about two months away. So the triathlon is being held in Chicago on the 24th and 25th. So in my mind, I'm thinking to myself, so I have two months to train. So I'm already starting to train. It's a really, really great way to raise money for the foundation. If anybody does or doesn't know about the foundation, we've got so many grants that you can apply for that nobody knows about. They'll give grants for your technicians to take their CDT exams for the practical as well as the comprehensive. They supplement grants for you guys to go out to SPEAR. I mean, there's so many things that we're doing and it's so amazing. They have a Mark Jackson grant that they're using in honor of Mark Jackson, which we all know is amazing for the industry. So those of you that listen to us on a weekly and a monthly basis, check it out. There's so much that we're doing to give back to the technicians and to the laboratories that want to do better and want to get higher education. So I was shocked to hear that there's actually a couple grants that only a, a few people try to get. Uh, even I know. Your chances are really good if you want to get in on these grants, from what I understand. I know. They, I mean, we don't, they, people don't apply for these grants because they don't know about them, but... If you're listening to us, you guys got to check it out. There's so much money that we raise all throughout the year to be able to give back to people that want to apply for these grants and get higher education or take their CDT exam. But I think the information needs to permeate our listeners. So you guys check it out. Good word. <laughs> oh, anyhow, so Barbara Wojan, again, if you feel like it. But for all the month of July... We will be selling a limited edition shirt to raise money for this great cause. Ooh. These will only yes. be available until the end of July, so order yours today. There are shirts, tank tops, and women's Razorback tanks, which is more of a woman style running shirt, 
with a special message Ooh. on the back just for the Race for the Future 6.0. So head over to Voices from the Bench for a link or look for the link on our Facebook page. All profits go towards the Foundation of Dental Laboratory Technology. If you want to make a straight donation to the race, head over to DentalLabFoundation.org. When you select a racer to sponsor, make sure you type in Team Voices from the Bench or <laughs> or, or Barbara Wogan. Yeah. I love how you put the or in there, mister. And then after the triathlon, August 24th and 25th, which is the day we're racing, you should log on to see how well we did. Because I'm going to the top five, just saying, in my age group, not overall for crying out loud, but in my age group, I'm going for top five. I think you guys should go for first because you've got a stellar team. Just saying. I'm going to do my best not to break my collarbone. Okay. Well, you're not you're not riding on a bike, thank God. No. You're running. Have it. Never and ever again. <laughs> Please tell me you're not riding on a bike. Never and ever again. Never and Okay. Never. So... For all you listeners, Elvis broke his collarbone last time he was going to do the full race. Now he's just going to run, which he's a runner, which he's awesome. So good luck to you, my friend. And good luck to you. And let's raise some money for the great cause. All right. Well, thank you. I will. All right, everybody. We'll talk to you next week. Have a good one. Happy Fourth of July. I'm the- oh, yeah. Woo-hoo. Have fun. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your friends. And enjoy the fact that this is a free nation and you can get bleeped if you want to on a podcast. By blowing things up in the air. Have a good one. (laughs) (laughs) Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye. Uh Uh-huh. Clear the voice, Mr. Puberty. (sighs)